Hello water signs and welcome to Adventures in Pixie Land. This is going to be your monthly reading taking you from the new moon in Scorpio on November 1st to the full moon in Taurus on November 15th. Interesting, interesting energies afoot, my friends. I have to say, especially so for me, like I have got a bunch of activity happening that weekend. Really do. Big uh, family stuff going on. Um, and stuff that we have been uh, waiting for, because that is the weekend of, uh, that first weekend in November is that, uh, is the, the weekend of my mother's memorial, finally. So, uh, we are going to have ourselves a good celebration of life going on right after that new moon. So for me very much so in that new moon energy, right? Bringing something to a completion and celebrating a new stage of life as a family and uh, fond remembrances of my mother because it's we're Celtic mostly in nature. So it's more like a wake, if you will. Um, so, I myself am looking forward, as much as that seems like might be seeming a little odd, it, but it's nice when one is in various stage of grieving to, you know, get to see the other people around you who can understand uh, your grief. And I have the blessing of family coming into town. So, you'll be able to go through that beautiful process together. It is a Scorpio season, though. Uh, Scorpio's on the mind because I have a lot of Scorpio's within uh, my family. I can't, it's been 40 some odd years since I haven't had a Scorpio in my, uh, yeah. Like I've had a Scorpio in my life for 40, 43 years. As a minimum. Because one of my siblings is a Scorpio, my younger sister is. So I've had a, a Scorpio in some place in my life uh, for 43 years. And in my uh, uh, Uranus, the planet of innovation, has to be, leads the way with my, you know, like intense, passionate, you know, commitment to something is when I start uh, getting creative in my problem solving, which is one of those things that Scorpios are quite good at. When they really want something, they start getting really creative about how to make it happen. Quite clever. And I am a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, Taurus in all of my asteroids, so sister signs. It's just yeah, interesting for me because sister signs with my sister. Up to the day, actually. Um, so it's a new moon in passionate Scorpio. So happy birthday, Scorpio. So it's your season. You're on my mind. Uh, new moon in passionate Scorpio. Trying strict Saturn retrograde. That's Capricorn's ruling dignitary. In intuitive Pisces. Focus your attention on just that one goal. And research is really highlighted. So you can empower yourself to transform yourself or that situation. Something needs changing up. So instead of being fighting what needs to be changed up. Dig in on your research. So that you're changing it the way you want to change it. And the ways that you're comfortable with water signs. Because that's really important. Your emotional stability. Like if your emotions are feeling unsteady or unstable about something because your emotions are just a tad bit more intense than most other people's being your water signs, like on average, uh, you know, especially if you've got a water sign moon and you're watching this for a water sign moon because that moon kind of governs the emotions in the first place, it would, of course, it's going to feel intense, right? So... You know, keep that in mind when you're, you know, be gentle with yourself when you're thinking about it. You, you don't like the change unless it's change that you want because you need to feel emotionally uncomfortable with it. Well, most people do too. Research is your answer because if it's going to change, change it to your liking. Maybe it's something you're even excited about that you've wanted to change and now finally you get a chance to change. Can I have one card, please, Father, for the Water Sign Collective, what they need to be uh, working on here for the new moon? And Scorpio on November 7th. How do you want them to use this energy for their self-improvement, Father? This is really what we're always all about here on this channel. Visualization. Okay. 
So, you're going to find out about something that has to be altered. And you're going to, instead of fighting, you're going to start thinking about how you want it to be. Okay? Because some part of you probably only knows what this is that needs to alter. Visualization. Third eye chakra. See Archangel Raphael. Uh, you have attracted this card into your awareness today because it is a creative time of visualization for you. Visualization is a tool for manifesting your desires and dreams and a powerful way for you to receive visions and messages from the spirit world. When we visualize, we activate the third eye chakra and yours is currently expanding and awakening. You are encouraged to practice exercises that enhance this process such as meditation and breath work. The color of the third eye chakra is violet, so you may like to imagine this color streaming into your third eye as it expands and awakens uh, to its full potential. The, in this moment, you will receive strong visions and deep wisdom. Trust what is coming through for you. You will also deepen your intuition and psychic abilities as the third eye awakens. You are receiving strong signs and messages from your guides, from the spirit world. It is important that you slow down for a moment and go within to see what you are being shown. You could also be receiving signs from your earthly world and are encouraged to pay more attention to the visions around you. This card could also represent that you are in a phase of creating and are being asked to visualize strongly what you would like to manifest in your world. This is a very exciting time, water signs. Uh, tune into your heart and bring forth your ideas and visions that are appearing to assist you on the next phase of your journey. This card can also be a sign that you need to take more notice of your visions in your, and in your dreams. Whatever this card means for you, make sure you nurture this powerful process as it will bring you an abundance of gifts at this time. Your affirmation is, my third eye is open and I have profound vision. So that's important because right now, right now, with, uh, especially for Tauruses, what's been because Scorpio season for Tauruses, that's like... Okay, let's let's auger into shadow work, right? We're building out the root cellar. That's how I had a different reader explain it to me. We're building out the root cellar, and it makes perfect sense for me to this year because next year is the Jewish year of Jubilee. And in the year of Jubilee, the land must lay fallow. So you are establishing. You are establishing now the pattern that takes you into next year. So you're laying down those roots. And for me, I've got a very clear vision with this channel about what I want to do for the next year. These will continue, but there'll be a uh, specific uh, uptick in the, in what, uh, the Bible study videos for me uh, because I have always had in my life this like desire to read all the different versions of the Bible. Now, every book is edited for a purpose. And moving a country around by its religion is part of nation making. It goes all the way back to the Roman era. So the Bibles are no different. But unless you actually look at the words and try to hear the intention, especially if you're not going to you know, go through and try to investigate what was going on in the rest of the world, which in my Bible study, I do. I give you context of the world itself like in history or in the person's uh what their their cultural upbringing would have been and what would have been considered normal for their time frame but what is you know now a sign of evolution and change for us right so i have my specific clear goals for my future with this work and for my future with my life in general so this is part of that time if you've been working on yourself, it's time for you to start visualizing how you want it to be instead of focusing on everything that wasn't okay. Instead of like, our brains can't really do the don't think about that. Like our brain then pictures that thing and then wipes it away. 
in the don't think about it process. So instead, I like the word instead. Instead, what do you want it to be? Maybe write a vision board, start thinking about it, start writing it out, right? Start making it something achievable. Give yourself goals, give yourself tasks. Start building now what you need the foundation for, for next year. Because it's what we build now that is our foundation for next year. It's just that time. Can I have one card, please, Father, for the Water Sign Collective for what they need to see for the new moon in Scorpio on November 1st? Groundhog Spirit, time to let go. Ooh. Yes, yes, 31. 31. It's like for all those Pisces babies out there. Bollock being smacked in, right? Time to let go. Endings lead to beginnings and death is part of life so groundhog spirit is here look at that the scorpio energy so scorpio energy around pisces time of year isn't that beautiful endings leading to beginnings and death is part of life so groundhog spirit is here to let you know it's time to accept the natural ending of something that is no longer serving you we love to hold on to what is familiar but the new needs space to arrive so growth can occur. When Groundhog Spirit appears, it is a sign that something uh, in your present situation that you need to, there's something in your present situation that you need to let go of so something new can be born. Something that will, that will far better serve you now. When the Groundhog sees his shadow, he retreats to his den. So you too might yearn for a little more time to say goodbye and transition into the new. However, change is coming and it is good. So let go of your resistance. Spring brings many blessings and what must die will always be reborn in the new form. And that will be what is right for you. Life requires change and detachment. Say farewell to whatever once served you. Get ready for something amazing to take its place. Spirit is already sending it your way. So this change is already in process, Scorpio. It's not something that you can change. You can't make it not occur, okay? You have a protection message for this. One of my neighbors has music playing really loud, if you guys can hear that in the background. I have pretty good windows, so for it to be coming in, it must be pretty loud. That's kind of cool. I play music pretty loud myself in my house, so I'm not kind of complaining or anything. Protection message. Have you been relentless in your efforts to revive something that has passed its prime and needs to die away? A situation, a relationship, a belief, or a habit that once served you but no longer fills you with vitality? Perhaps you automatically expect to see the world through a specific lens based on the familiar. Groundhog spirit has appeared to let you know it's time to accept that the past is the past. To allow yourself to feel the loss and grieve it if you need to. Any sadness will not last forever or overwhelm you. Knowing spirit is with you and wants, to wants you to experience joy and excitement again will help you through this transition from the old to the new. Keep your eyes open for winter always gives way to spring and endings always give birth to new beginnings. For now, let yourself feel your emotions, releasing them to make way for the joy that awaits you. Spring and new growth are on their way. For that is Spirit's promise to you. Well, that's good. 
you guys. New stuff's coming. And then one card, please, Father, for what the Water Sun Collective needs to uh, see for the new moon in Scorpio on November 1st. Outdoors. The Archangel Jophile. Okay, so that is your root chakra. So you guys need to get grounded. You need to get grounded, visualize. So, you know, grounded in the earth with your eye pointed towards the sky, right? Go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. All right, let's get you an astrology card and then a moon card, and then we'll move on to the full moon. Can I get one card, please, Father, for what the Water Sign Collective needs to see for the New moon in Scorpio on November 1st. Sagittarius, the world explorer. Okay, so it could have something to do with travel. You could also be interacting with a Sagittarius. Their sign is right after yours. So, um, you know, you could, you know, you could be a cusper. Can I have one card, please, Father, for the, what the water sign collective needs to see. I mean, he's the hunter. So you might need to go outdoors to go hunting, although that's not my idea of a good time. But, you know, for some of you it might be. And one card, please, Father, for the Water Sign Collective. I mean, please eat whatever you kill. If you're going to kill it, make sure you're willing to eat it. Unless it's trying to kill you. In which case, all... Okay, fine. I want, can I have one card, please, Father, for uh, what the uh, Water Sign Collective needs to see uh, for the new moon? in Scorpio on November 1st. Okay, so that flew out first. New Moon and Aquarius bring love into the situation. So that would have been back in February-ish time frame. And Full Moon in Taurus, which is the next one. Your dreams need a practical plan. So whatever you're working towards, um, you're trying to get to it before the end of the month. If you visualize and focus now, you can bring something into culmination before the end of the month. But you've got to have a practical plan and let go of what does not work. Now you guys are pretty, water signs are usually pretty emotional. So if you want to feel loving, you can. Because, um, you know, that's all choice. So, you have uh, a November 15th. We have a full moon in practical Taurus. Uh, and our work ethic Saturn in intuitive Pisces finally goes direct. Which means we will instinctually start to understand again what we need to be working on and when. There is something in our lives leaving us feeling unstable or insecure. Augering down slowly will be what lets you see where the real problem is. Once you see where the real holdup is, options that have been evading us for months will suddenly now open up. We have been focusing too long on what in therapy speak would be considered the presenting problem. The presenting problem is not the problem underneath. The presenting problem is what the, the patient wants to get rid of. But why, why is that there? Why is that symptom there? Stop focusing on the symptoms. Focusing on the symptoms. Start focusing on the disease. Can I get one card, please? Whatever that means for you. Uh, can I get one card, please, Father, for the Water Sign Collective for the full moon in Taurus on November 15th? Relationships. Okay. Okay. All right. Maybe you got somebody around you and it's just not so good. Sacral chakra. So root and then sacral. Okay. I mean, you got third eye here, but, you know, show fail, sacral chakra. Uh, you have attracted uh, this card into your awareness today because it's a powerful time and opportunity to deepen relationships. Relationships are the way we connect to all things in our world, not just people. This could be a relationship with yourself, your partner, your family, friends, pets, creative projects, your home, and your community. For things to grow, expand, and to be healthy, 
your relationships need to be fed and nurtured. Maybe you've been putting the focus on the wrong relationships. Um, now is a good time to see which bonds require some more love and attention and assess the ones that are not so healthy for you at this time. What awareness is required to shift the energy around any challenging relationships? What do you need to assess or what do you need to express for this relationship to heal? Whether this card relates to your intimate relationships or relationships in general, know that there is a great opportunity for growth and connection. Through relationships, you learn about yourself and others. They are an integral part and an important part, integral and important part of your life's journey. All relationships teach and mirror many traits back to us. Sometimes this reflection is hard to accept. However, when you are willing to see yourself honestly and work positively with your behavior, then there is a huge opportunity for growth. Like your first job is to know you better than anyone else could. So when you're trying to self-sabotage, you catch you and correct yourself instead of trying to have that be somebody else's responsibility to see in you. But you can't do that if you're looking at yourself and thinking you're perfect. You also can't do that if you're looking at yourself and thinking that you're just the worst thing ever. You have to main, mainly be in a state of balance. So that's your first job, is to get yourself into a state of balance. Okay. The key is to accept and love every aspect of yourself and to set yourself free from judgment and limitation. There is an abundance of love and healing that comes with a solid, fulfilling relationship. Take the time to nurture your relationships. Put in the energy to allow them to grow and to expand into beautiful friendships or deeper connections. It is also a powerful time to create a long lasting, healthy relationship with yourself and be your new best friend. Your affirmation is my relationships are aligned with my highest good and my soul's purpose. I like to say that um, part of the affirmations I say with the prayers every night before bed is that everything needs to come in in the 3D and it must be for my highest and best good. They gotta like basically they gotta pass the deal to Jesus before he you know he has to approve before he can come into my life. But that's the ministry because if it if it just shows up in energy and it never shows up in 3D, it's not real. It's not from him. He doesn't just send energy. That's not how he works. He's the one who can put energy into 3D form. That's that's part of what makes him, you know, creator in the first place. Can I have one card, please, Father, for the water sign collective? What they need to be focused on for the full moon in Taurus on uh, November 15th. Turtle spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. Now, turtles are water, water element creatures there. Um, it's, a. Uh, it's definitely not, um, a tortoise, it's a turtle, because it says so, and tortoises have feet, land mammals, uh, these are flippers, so definitely, uh, water creatures, slow and steady wins the race. Turtle spirit arrives to remind you that when you do what you need to do, putting one foot in front of the other, and trusting that you will see your intentions manifest in perfect timing, your prosperity and love will grow exponentially. So have faith. Now is not the time to rush around trying to force matters. Move slowly, perhaps even so slowly that it almost feels like you're not moving at all. This may be a time to crawl before walking. Taking your time to align turtles, turtle spirit's place as you contemplate this road you are on. Doing what you need to do in this small moment that will soon pass. So be intentional. Turtle spirit reminds you that sometimes the best action is to slow right down. So it feels if you are not doing enough Know that simply being aware of what is happening right now may be an important step towards determining 
whether you need to pivot or simply put one foot in front of the other. True love and true success comes with patience, says Turtle Spirit. Focus on the now and the next step will be clear. Yeah, my will said thy will is what I call that. I do that uh, every day. I don't need to know what uh, God wants me to do beyond what he wants me to do just next. If I ask to know more, I don't usually ask to know more than beyond, you know, the next few steps after that. So, you know, it works out better for me. Protection message. Pushing too hard or rushing to leave others in the dust is not the way of turtle spirit. Even if it seems at times that it is the way of the world. Turtle spirit wants to remind you that you are a human being, not a human doing. In the protection position, turtle spirit is giving you the message that the best thing to do right now is to let go of the drive to compete or control and do more. Instead, simply be. An old Norse saying goes, we do without doing and everything gets done. Spirit conspires on your behalf. So slow to a crawl or even a stop. Releasing any fear that life is a race that you must be losing. Trust that peace, prosperity, love, and purpose are all yours to enjoy right now. Do not do. Simply be. Because we are wrapping up towards the end of the year. So anything that you have to get done needs to be done at an achievable pace. Not a breakneck pace and I'll catch up on it later. And I'll, you know, catch up on sleep later. I'll catch up on this later. No. A livable pace. Because you're trying to live a life that you can enjoy along the way. You're not racing from one date to the next. That's not the point of a good life, right? Can I have one card, please? Father, for the Water Sign Collective, what they need to be focused on for the new moon, and no, I'm sorry, full moon in Taurus on November 15th. Gifts from God. You've been blessed. Water Signs, Cancer, blessings from the Archangel Sandal Phone. He's uh, the kingdom point on the Tree of Life. Uh, we angels bring you gifts from your Creator. Open your arms to receive. So if you're really focused on the negative, you're blocking the energy so the blessings can't come in. Because you're not trusting that God will pour in. You might not be trusting people you're in relationships with to pour into you. You have to look at that, no matter what the relationship is. And I one card, please, Father, for the Water Sign Collective, what they need to be focused on for the full moon in Taurus on November 15th. Just one. A Chiron. Inner healing. That's another one for me that's in Taurus. I'm a physical healer. That's the way I operate. Understanding how you heal is very important. You need to understand what that is and lean into it. And it's not unusual for that to be for like, especially for a water sign, for you to go to a body of water. Or just the opposite. I know a water sign who they draw, like they don't even like to get out of their vehicle. They just drive up the mountain and drive back down. Because in the act of going up in the elevation and then the you know, all the, the mountains out here are kind of made of agate and quartz and of course like glacial till and things like that too, but um like basalt and all kinds of other stuff like that. But they uh it grounds them just and for me. I have like this uh, walk I like to go on where I go underneath these, uh, this just like, I go into this cove of tree and like it's bushes and then like I'm just really rooted. It's above me, it's around me, it's below me. There's no place where I'm not surrounded by plant life. But they're not touching me because there's a sidewalk right through it. So it's beautiful and has a very grounding effect. It's important that you find whatever does that for you, especially if that's a location. Ley lines exist and they're important. They exist there for a reason. Can I have one card, please, Father, for what the Water Sign Collective needs to uh, see for the full moon in Taurus on November 15th? A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. So, okay, full moon in Aries um, was the full moon right before this. 
So you could be bringing something to a conclusion that you started uh, in the uh, middle of October 17th. So that's a, to give you a subject matter, let's get into our, um, our you know, monthly read with the tarot here. Can I have uh, three cards, please, for the uh, Father for the Water Sign Collect this Pass? Okay. Okay, somebody was lying to you. And that made you have to make some sort of choice. Scorpio energy there with the judgment. You had to end something. Uh, can I have three cards, please, Father, for the uh, Water Sign Collective's uh, present moment? This is the week of the new moon for them. November 1st. Week of November 1st, three cards, please. Okay, so some kind of relationship, maybe even that you've been patient with, waiting on. Um, could be about work, could be about money, right? Or something uh, like a, maybe even a bigger commitment. Can I have three cards, please, uh, Father, for the uh, Water Sign Collective's uh, week of the full moon? This is your future. So, some could be somebody you were at a distance from, maybe you were quiet with, four swords, or some kind of quiet going on, maybe even a rest, a vacation, even. Um, three of Pentacles, but also a commitment, and Four of Wands. It's again a relationship. So, some thing that you might have been a commitment you might have been waiting for, maybe in a contract, because uh, Ten of Pentacles can be contract document, paperwork. That could all start to roll forward with this. And this can also be a house, a home, as well as like a, um, a marriage or even an engagement, a partnership of some kind. So, interesting. This also is, uh, can be a card of strategy. So there might have been some strategy uh, having to go on that left you in some sort of uh, place where you, some, you had to make a decision. Can I have uh, three cards here, please, Father, for why the Seven of Swords is here in the Water Sign Collective's past? Okay, so somebody from your past. I've been thinking about you. Or that you've been thinking about even in a past relationship could be some uh, past person uh, where they were lying to you lying stealing cheating relation you know uh, that maybe they got somebody else pregnant something of that nature can I have uh, seven of why father for why the three cards here for why the seven of swords with memory daydream and sweetheart now, these are too many cards so I'm not taking them but um, an argument of some kind Maybe somebody got back together with somebody secretly. And so let's uh, Okay. Can I have three cards, please, here, Father, for why the Seven of Swords? Take those two. Uh, why the Seven of Swords is here with the memory, daydream, and sweetheart for the Water Sign Collective. And that one was in that big pile, too. Um, communication. This is a Gemini, a Taurus energy, uh, but it could be any air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could have come rushing in. Queen of Wands. It's any fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Heavy on the Aries. Also, though, a card of Pisces and Libra. Some kind of communication coming rushing in from somebody that was disappointing. Maybe about somebody from your past. Maybe where something had been, some deception was uh, disappointing. Can I have three cards here, please, Father, for why this Two of Wands is here for the Water Sign Collective and their past? Mm hmm. I see. I see. And that makes perfect sense to me. Okay, so you had a choice to make. Because somebody was trying to manipulate you, and you had to decide if you were going to withdraw or you were going to overload yourself. Let's just move that up there so I can't accidentally knock it down. If you were going to overload yourself, 
trying to, you know, let them manipulate you. Can I have three cards, please, Father, for why this Two of Wands is here with Withdrawal, Marionette, and Overload? Uh-huh. Okay, Knight of Wands, any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the Sagittarius. Also, though, a uh, card of Scorpio. Right, so it also can indicate somebody who's younger, you know, um, a young adult kind of thing. You had some sort of communication come rushing in, Page of Wands, probably from somebody in your past who's been inconsistent. Maybe in the past they were deceptive, they were manipulative, they tried to overload you with work, and now they want to come rushing back in, Water Suns. You've got something that looks shiny and nice, and now they want to come back in to see if they can get some. That's what that was. Can I get three cards here, please, Father, for why the judgment card is here for the Water Sun Collective's past? Okay, so they're just lonely and feeling afraid, feeling, you know, introverted. You could be feeling introverted to their lonely and afraid energy. So you had to make a choice to cut something off. Can I have three cards here, please, Father, for why the Judgment card is here with loneliness, introvert, and fright for the Water Sign Collective. So they could be feeling financially insecure. Again, Judgment Energy twice, that's Scorpio, twice. Okay, so... Somebody made some kind of choice. Possibly to bring something to an end. Because they were feeling isolated, they were feeling alone, they were feeling frightened, they could have been feeling insecure maybe even about work or about money. But some sort of choice that they made could also may have left them feeling insecure about money. Can I have three cards here, Father, for why the Two of Cups is here in the Water Sign Collective's present moment? Okay, so there's arguments within a relationship, that robbery, because of this inconsistent energy, because this is like the same thing, this Knight of Wands, inconsistent energy, and this like this is like getting that Seven of Swords. So you're fighting with this person in, around the new moon. What it, you're going to have uh, three cards, Father, for why the Two of Cups is here with the Adventure, Conflict, and Robbery card for the Water Sign Collective. Alright, that's Capricorn energy with the devil. Page of Cups. And then Ten of Swords. So, some sort of, possibly some sort of relationship. Could be somebody in the past who was inconsistent and was stealing. Possibly somebody who was particularly toxic. Could come in, try to apologize for the way... Uh, they have created problems in the past, or they could be coming back in to stir up new problems. You're going to have to take that in your life based upon how you're seeing them. I'm not advising one way or the other, because these cards do not indicate whether, because Ten of Swords is an ending. It's a betrayal. So they could be apologizing for the past. Can I get three cards here, please, Father, for why the Seven of Pentacles is here for the Water Sign Collective's new week of the new moon? Okay. Seven of Pentacles. So whatever this thing you've been waiting for feels really heavy, feels really burdensome, feels almost like it's magic, feels really toxic, and you're just ready. I think you're just ready for it to be over. Can I have three cards here, please, Father, for... One, the Seven of Pentacles is here with the Curse, Stress, and Readiness. Okay. Uh, so you got the Magician card. That's Virgo energy. It's also Gemini energy, but it is also very heavy with the Virgo because Hermit is the card of Virgo. And then uh, Libra with the card of Justice. So something here is break, really. It means whatever this was, this stress, this curse, whatever it is, it is healing. 
There is almost like, think of it as, you know, counter magic happening. Can I have three cards, please, Father, for why the Ten of Pentacles is here for uh, the Water Sign Collective in their new week of their new moon? Okay. So some Ten of, of Pentacles. So that's like some sort of uh, yeah, blessing. It could be a financial blessing, work, right? Some change of fortune coming. If there was financial stresses or homelessness happening uh, for within a family or family unit, some blessing coming. Can I get three cards, please, Father, for why the Ten of Pentacles is here with homelessness, luck, and family? Right, so um, there is some sort of blessing. You have to make sure you're looking up in order to see it for your family that's coming in. Nine of Pentacles. Things are about to take a turn. Family is whatever you decide it means for you. Cancer energy there with the chariots. So something could be even be with a vehicle. Something moving forward in a in a you know positive way. Can I get a uh, Three cards here, please, Father, for why this Four of Swords is here for the Water Sign Collective's Week of the Full Moon. Something you've been preparing for, that you've been waiting for, an idea even, that you've been saving up for, ready, getting ready. And get this. Three cards, please, Father, for why the Four of Swords is here with Savings, Idea, and Stop. Okay. So there might be some clever idea or something that you've been saving up for. So my, yeah, so again, with the idea, Ace of Swords there with the uh, thing. So you could very well have some kind of idea that you have... Uh, been trying to implement that maybe you couldn't get people on board with before and now finally you know after all of this after all the work that you've put in people will just it'll stop this new idea will just stop the fighting stop the fighting stop the defensiveness get have three cards father please for what, why this uh, Three of Pentacles is here for the Water Sign Collective. One more, please, Father. The week of the full moon. Okay. So, it could have been somebody in within the, a group, a collaboration, a commitment, an alliance, you know, a, a com you know, somebody you trust has been feeling ill, something that hasn't been right. Can I get three cards here, please, Father, for why the Three of Pentacles, Alliance and Collaboration is here with illness for the Water Sign Collective for the week of the full moon. With the Four of Wands card again. So it's within a relationship. Could be uh, with Cancer or Pisces. It's the High Priestess card. It also could be something you intuitively already know. Because you could be, you know, highly psychic. And you're just a page of pentacles. There's going to be a communication. Something that you, you know, you find out about. Maybe even from somebody else that just sort of clears everything up. Can I have three cards, please, Father, for why the Four of Wands is here. For the Water Sign Collective for the week of the full moon in Taurus on November 15th. Maybe you didn't even know about a relationship. Could be you didn't know about an engagement. Or uh, could be maybe somebody didn't see. Maybe somebody didn't see you clearly. Maybe couldn't somebody couldn't see what you were doing, the way you were being good. And now suddenly they can. We have three cards here, please, Father, for why the Four of Wands is here with Blind, Promise, and Merit Making in the Water Sign Collective's future. 
Empress is Taurus Libra energy. It's also cards of mothers. Two of Pentacles. So it's also divine mother energy, divine feminine energy. Okay. So it's a card of maturity and compassion and grace and gentleness. So moving forward, you know, moving forward, get the six of swords here. Moving forward, moving on, uh, keeping this the this juggle, this balancing going. So, you know, you could be just moving into this new place in your life if you just relax and you just let it be. All right, so let us get into uh, you guys' individual signs um, so we can uh, get a little closer to wrapping this up. Let's start with uh, our Rebel Tarot so we get our funniness going on. And um, I think we'll... We'll get you guys, Scorpio, we'll get, actually, Scorpio, let's get you, because you guys get to go first. Let's get you guys your, uh, what crystal you need for your birthday season, okay? So let's do that first. And I have one card, please, Father, for what the Scorpios need to see for their uh, crystal. What crystal do they need for their birthday season, Father? What should they be rocking? Let's see. What's their excuse to go buy new gemstones? Um, Argonite. Argonite. What is it? Like iron patina flowers forged by tiny hammers. And it's actually really, really cool. If you look at how all those geodes stick out, that's really cool. Argonite forms in geometric burst called star clusters. It also occurs in the exoskeleton of stony corals and in the shells of most mollusks. How cool. Uh, so water stuff for the water people, right? Uh, protecting the, the squishy and fishy insides. Who needs it? Anyone feeling out of alignment or in need of a major reset? Well, where to put it? Meditation cushion adjacent. So not on you while you're meditating, but next to you. When to use it? When it's time to retreat to your shell or to step out of it. If you want to be square with the outside world, first you got to get square with your inside world. Call an Argonite to help set healthy, sustainable balance. Uh, your, your advice is find your center, Scorpio. Look at that. I love it. All right. That's what we're talking about, right? That's what we were saying. You need to go find your center. Can I get one card, please? We've got to find our balance. One card, please, Father, for what the Scorpio Collective needs to be focused on from the new moon to the full moon, November 1st to the 15th. Love. Give some, get some. It'll cheer your ass up, Scorpio. Can I have one card, please, Father, for what the Cancer Collective needs to be focused on from November 1st to the 15th, the new moon to the full moon. Money. Make it rain, Cancer. You need to be on your bank. If you got your mind on anything other than your money, you're off course. Can I get one card, please, Father, for what the Pisces Collective needs to be focused on from November 1st to the 15th, the new moon to the full moon? Stop texting. Stop stalking. Stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Don't go chasing anybody if you're chasing somebody, Pisces. Like, what are you doing? Come on now. You got it better than that, boo-boo. Can I have one card? So for everybody, we're just going to say work on some self-esteem. We'll just like leave that right there. Solar plexus chakra. The frequency of solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power, and our willpower, as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. Okay? So don't, don't chase. All right, can I have one card, please, Father, for what the Scorpio Collective needs to be focused on for the uh, new moon in Scorpio to the full moon in Taurus, November 1st to the 17th. Change. Can with card 12, just like relationships there. Change. The frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance. Gracefully dance. 
Scorpios, with forever changing nature of reality, both inward and outward, so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and the birth of the new. I mean, that's basically Scorpio energy right there. Can I get one? When well, you guys are ruled by the planet of transformation. You know that, right? Can I get one card, please, Father, for what the uh, <laughs> Cancer Collective needs to be focused on from the new moon in Scorpio to the full moon in Taurus, November 1st to the 15th. Just one card. No, they only get one. Come on. It's not even their birthday season. Prosperity. Look at that with the money. This cancer. Current 36. The frequency of prosperity supports our feeling of well-being by allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit sing. It invites us to express ourselves in joy and celebration of the abundance and riches that the universe provides. So really still focus on that money there, Cancer. Make sure you're staying balanced so that you can bring about that change with your money, whatever it is you're striving for. Can I have one card? Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I have one card, please, Father, with the Pisces Collective? Only one. The Pisces Collective needs to work on from November 1st to uh, November 15th in the full moon in Scorpio to the new moon in Taurus. Tantric journey, Pisces. Card 42. The frequency of tantric journey helps us to unlock the hidden knowledge and wisdom that we intrinsically hold about how to reach a state of wholeness and completion through our sensual experiences with ourselves and with another. So um, you need to rethink how you're thinking about love, romance, and sexual encounters, is what they're saying, Pisces. I mean, that's pretty uh, specific, because don't waste your time. Stop checking on that person. Spend your time on someone worth it with tantric journeys. So you're going to have to see where that resonates with you. So I'm not trying to cast judgment on what you're doing with whatever you've got going on there. It's not my business. I honestly don't care. And my opinion, if we don't need the cops, and I don't need to know. Because then, you know, somebody needs emotional support. And then that matters. But, you know, if you're happy with it, they're happy with it. Do you, boo-boo. Everybody needs, just needs to follow, you know, be an adult, all that good stuff. And a human, and alive, you know, all the things needed for consent. Can I have one card, please, Father, for the Scorpio Collective? What they need to be... What do they need to know for clarification? Can you tell me more about this uh, change and this love that they have to give and get for the Scorpios? For the new moon to the full moon. Okay, toil and labor. <coughs> You're not putting enough physical effort into some kind of relationship is essentially what this is uh, indicating. And you need to um, do that. Can I have one card, please, Father, for the Cancer Collective? Can you clarify why they have make it rain with prosperity concern? Okay, so there's some maybe money concerns. Don't focus on the negative because you bring negative when you focus on the negative. Can I have one card, please, Father, for the Pisces Collective? What do, can you clarify why they have um, not to waste their their time? And, okay, so unexpected income. Okay. All right, so... Pisces, you guys might have something that comes to you, like maybe you have money come in, and then you're going to have skeevy people from your past come back and be like, hey, baby, how's it going? And you're going to be like, get to step it. You weren't ride or die with me before. We ain't got nothing for you here. Can I have one card, please, Father, why the uh, Scorpio Collective needs to be uh, focused on from the new man in Scorpio. To the full moon in Taurus, November 1st to the 15th. Uh, a Tale of Two Goats, Story 17, or Leviticus 16. Hebrews 10.10 10 in the, uh, in the uh, yeah, 
Protestant Bible. Uh, we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. So if you are feeling like you can't do something because you're not good enough, your sins have already been forgiven. Focus on what's going on in front of you right now, Scorpio. Can I have one card, please, Father? For what the Cancer Collective needs to uh, hear for the new moon in Scorpio to the full moon in Taurus, November 1st to the 15th. Um, More Than a Slave, Story 89, uh, called Philemon. Or 1 John 4, 11. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought to love one another. Okay? So you got to pour positive energy into whatever you're trying to create, Cancer. Can I get one card, please, Father, for what the Pisces Collective needs to be focused on for the new moon in Taurus, uh, new moon in Scorpio to the full moon in Taurus, November 1st to November 15th. Jesus cleans house. Story 78 and Mark 11, or Mark 11, 17. My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. All right, Pisces. You got some cleaning out to do within your relationships, is what it seems there. I would get to work on that. Can I have one card, please, Father, for what the Scorpio Collective needs to be focused on? The new moon in Scorpio to the full moon in Taurus, November 1st to the 15th. Card five. If you're still here with me, Scorpio, down below, put I am adaptable. Flexibility is your forte. When life throws a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavor. Stop hiding, Scorpio. You've got this. Can I have one card? Your insecurities. Your insecurities are replaced. That's what this is indicating. Can I have one card, please, Father, for what the Cancer Collective needs to know? Card nine. It is your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to helping the greater good and have the strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service. Put down below, I am compassionate. Okay, so, uh, Cancer, if you, if you want good stuff to come into you, you can't be stingy with everybody else. Now, that doesn't mean give what you can't afford to give. I'm not saying that. But don't react defensively when you don't have more that you can give. You gotta breathe love. Not try to explain to people why you can't necessarily do something. Find an, a polite way to help them or to get them connected with somebody who can. But you gotta gotta you gotta show love to get love. If you're unwilling to be vulnerable, don't expect people to be vulnerable with you. And I have one card, please, Father, for the Pisces Collective. And what they, if you're still here, put down, I am compassionate down below, uh, Cancer. And I have one card, please, Father, for the Pisces Collective, what they need to be focused on November 1st through the uh, 15th. 33. I am expanding. Uh, any positive changes or or projects you are considering right now will be worth your while. So it, it's a good time to get rid of people that don't serve your highest good. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. You're here with me, Pisces. So put down below, I am expanding. Okay, last one, guys. This is your opportunity to pause the video to think of one to three yes or no questions that you would like answered. Wait, opportunity, peaceful resolution. Okay, so patience, something is coming your way, you feel it, you feel it, you feel like that tension, like canvas stretched out, too small of a canvas stretched out on too large of a frame, right? You feel it, but there's a way to do this with peace. And with love and compassion and gentleness and grace instead of aggression and anger and fear. Right? So don't give in. Don't give in to that aggression, anger, and fear. It is everywhere. And you're going to feel it even more 
as we escalate right towards the election of course in America but it's just in the energy and in the air so remember when you're going about the world people you are still dealing with human beings and non-denominated objects remember that they have feelings and thoughts and wants and needs just like you. So let's not treat them like they're not. Don't let, don't let the opposition in that way. Okay? As you go about the world this week, or this month I should say, as you go about the world this month, remember water signs. You are a child of the universe. No less than the trees and the stars. And you have a right to be here. 